In this video, I'll be explaining anatomy of rhomboid. Rhomboid is a shoulder girdle muscle which is on the back side of shoulder girdle. You see blue tape and red tape? The blue tape represents rhomboid minor and red tape represents rhomboid major. The most of the time, these two muscles are called rhomboid as these two together. But in this video, I'd like to divide rhomboid for two muscles. So, origin of rhomboid minor and rhomboid major is the spine. To be specific, rhomboid minor originates from C6 and C7, cervical spine. And rhomboid major originates from T1 through T4. Their origin is spinous process of spine. And insertion. Another attachment is here. This is medial border of scapula. The origin was spinous process of spine. Insertion is medial border of scapula. So what is function of rhomboid? Here is origin, insertion. What happens if rhomboid pulls scapula this way? If muscle pulls this way, it will bring scapula this way. This is adduction of scapula. Adduction is like you close shoulder blade this way, right? So adduction is like close the scapula or bring scapulas together. This is adduction. But if you look carefully, the direction of fiber is not completely horizontal, right? It's a little bit diagonal. So if rhomboid contracts, the direction of force goes this way, right? So rhomboid can do another function, which is downward rotation of scapula. Downward rotation is like moving this way, kind of rotational movement of scapula. So this is downward rotation and this is upward rotation. I will talk about these rotations later. So anyway, the functions of rhomboid are adduction of scapula and downward rotation of scapula. Now, before I will talk about the uh, upward rotation and downward rotation, I want to talk about one more muscle. So, which is the serratus anterior, which is on the lateral side of rib cage. Actually, you don't see serratus anterior on this model, but serratus anterior runs like this way. It's like a zigzag shape muscle. This muscle is so important. Actually, function of this muscle is completely opposite from rhomboid. What was functions of rhomboid? That was adduction of scapula and downward rotation of scapula. So the function of serratus is abduction of scapula, opening up, and upward rotation of scapula. Why is that so important? Because movement of scapula is very important to move your shoulder joint. You can't move shoulder joint freely from this shoulder joint. You have to move scapula together. Then, if rhomboid gets tight, it will be the fixed on the uh, adduction position or downward rotation position, right? So when you move the shoulder like this way, abduction or flexion, scapula needs to do upward rotation. So upward rotation, downward rotation are essential for shoulder joint movement. What if rhomboid gets tight? This will stuck on the downward rotation position, right? Then it's hard to move shoulder joint freely, right? Then 
if rhomboid gets tight, serratus anterior can be inhibited. Why? Because these two muscles are like antagonist. Antagonist is a muscle which does opposite movement. So in this case, antagonist of rhomboid is serratus anterior. Antagonist of serratus anterior is rhomboid. So kind of opposite muscle, right? So if rhomboid gets tight, serratus anterior can't work completely. If serratus anterior gets tight, rhomboid cannot do full function. So for scapular movement, rhomboid and serratus are very important. Not only for scapular movement, but for shoulder joint movement as well. So in this video, I explained the basic anatomy of rhomboid. Actually, rhomboid can be divided two parts. Rhomboid minor and rhomboid major. Its origin is spinal process of C6, C7, and T1 through T4. Insertion is medial border of scapula. Its function is adduction and downward rotation. Why? Because the direction of muscle fiber is like this way. If muscle pulls scapula this way, downward rotation happens. And on the second part of the video, I explained why rhomboid and serratus anterior are important for shoulder movement. So this is today's video. I hope you liked this video and I hope this video helps your anatomy studying. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.